Hello. So I'm going to show off another invention, innovation thing that I made. And uh, has to do with backpacks. So this is a regular Adidas backpack. And um, it's not super special, it's pretty average. I got it at Kohl's because it was big. And at the time, I was uh, trying to move around with uh, Honey Badger. Um, so I wanted it to fit in a backpack that didn't look all tactical from one of those tactical brands and stuff. Just wanted a regular looking backpack. And uh, I really liked the size of this backpack and uh, the compartments that it offered. But it's kind of floppy. And um, I'm going to show you what I got in here. So it's cool because I could fit my whole helmet set up in there. With the uh, EarPro, the actual nods, everything. But... Um, so it's still kind of flat without that, right? Still looks like an average backpack. And, um, but before I made this thing, like if you've tried to put anything with weight in the backpack, uh, it'll bulge out here and, and it'll, the weight will be distributed strange and it just won't look good. So now, this is a very heavy pistol. It's a Rattler. So there's a presser and uh, deep ball and everything because the night vision's in there. But it would fit. It fits good and it fits better without the the D ball. But I designed that thing to fit in the backpack with this uh, thing here in mind. So what I made was this and I'm trying to see what I'm going to do for production but I made this EV foam covered in canvas and uh, velcro and then also I have this nylon strip here to protect the canvas and the and the EV foam from uh, what could be a muzzle device or a hot suppressor or whatever uh, not so much a hot suppressor but just uh, just the all of the pressure of the muzzle device from poking out from here. So you can put, it's basically like a wallet for your firearm. And so these Velcro bridges, you can put them wherever you want to keep certain features of the firearm inside, right? So the barrel won't uh, pop out of here and then it'll get stuck or whatever or uh, the magazine won't get snagged on this thing when you're pulling it out you know uh, there's no um, it, the retention is pretty good in here um, nothing really pops out you know depending on the model I change where these go to kind of uh, minimize snag points and things like that so like with this because it's folded it's kind of thick uh, the flash eyes on that side and I don't want to switch to the other side I know you could switch it to the other side to make it thinner to match up with this, but I don't want to do that. So this keeps it From putting All of this pressure onto the backpack um, material and the weight is distributed along the bottom of the backpack So it looks like you probably have a laptop or something in there and then also it keeps it from moving, standing up like that or this, you know, it, it keeps it pretty snug in there uh, so that this back part doesn't pop uh, with the same issue up top of the backpack. Now, it's even easier with something like this where it's super flat and it fits in there the same. So when I put that in my big backpack, it, uh, you know, I adjust the Velcro here so that it holds it more like a, a like a Kydex holster, like a passive 
and it holds it a little tighter you can adjust how tight these hold your your item and because this has a lot of stuff you know protruding here with the magazines i would just adjust here put two of them or whatever like i did up here you know so it'll hold it reach in you don't have to unbuckle anything or anything you just pull it out or put it in and uh, also i need to <laughs> i need to sew that but um but i've been using this for a while now inside of that backpack now the flux radar is super small and that fits basically anywhere so like i have my my Tumi backpack my travel backpack i don't like to put so much stuff in there because then uh when they swap it at the airport they think i'm up to some funny business when i'm not but um but i mostly made this for heavier guns like the the 300 blackout stuff um that we ideally want to be carrying around and then also when i'm carrying this in that backpack with this i also carry this so it's like a setup um you know a night raw a quick little nighttime carry it around backpack i guess and then i can just swatch that out for this you know i could be carrying this in that adidas backpack you know and the backpack itself doesn't weigh too much you know but um you know combined with this I don't have anything jutting out or making the backpack balance weird or anything like that. So I should be coming out with these soon. Let me know what you guys think because I, I just like to switch through backpacks and I use my backpacks and they get worn out and I don't wanna have to buy a new tactical backpack every time that I just wanna take this out, you know? Um, and then once you start recognizing brands and stuff, it's just kind of like, well, I know that guy, he's one of us, or I know that guy, maybe he's up to something, I don't know. But um, <clears throat> that's why I made my my little wallet, and I, I'm finalizing the design on it. Um, so far, I've got all the features that I want. <sighs> now I'm just deciding whether or not people would like this to be ballistic or not because i i don't know so that's kind of what i'm thinking about right now is if it's going to be ballistic or not but um but yeah it's a pretty cool little thing to have and i'm gonna see if i put pouches on it um because it would probably be nice to have another mag in there you know two mags a rifle pistol whatever and uh nods is pretty cool you know, in for what I think I need, right? So maybe you guys will like that too. I hope you guys like that too. So thank you. Bye.